Hey guys, how you doing? So, let's talk about conflict, which is usually the point of all stories. Now this conflict is A punches B. Boom. The punch. One of the most visceral human forms of conflict. Now, if I'm reading my script that I have to storyboard off of, and it says A punches B in an action line, I have to figure out how I'm going to stage that. Now, how I choose to stage that should be determined by the overall tone of the piece. And this word, tone, is key. So, for example, if I stage this super baldly in a proscenium, character A, character B facing off against each other. And the next panel is the punch. I'm just going to have character B throw the punch into character A's face. To help that, you know what I might do? I might have his one hand up already here. And then... Maybe, you know what, I'm feeling a fourth panel here. So as you can see, these drawings are not super detailed. I'm just trying to get my movement right. So it's boom, doom. So that answers the script. Character B punches par character A in the face. But let's just say we wanted more drama. Let's just say we wanted to empathize. Let's just say this wasn't a comedy. You know, we might want to start off a little bit more intimately on character A and sort of let him have a moment where we, the audience, make contact with him. So say we immerse our camera. So we're looking at A over B's shoulder. And then we cut to a reverse on B. As B maybe moves towards him. As you can see, I'm working really loose because it just I'm 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 working as I'm thinking, so I'm not filtering this. This is sort of how I normally storyboard. I try to I try to draw as fast as I'm thinking, and I'm always flipping because it helps me to sort of see how my choices are feeling cinematically. So so he winds up. What if we put the camera high as the fist kind of... Now that is more of an A frame. I want a B frame to sort of give us a better composition. He's coming towards camera. Hang on, I 
hit a hit a hard sting on B. So let's cross that fist over. Maybe he's got him kind of gripped so he can't get away. And then the punch comes in. And then maybe go to a wide shot. Falling backwards as B follows through with his punch. As you can see, these drawings get a little looser as I get further into the beat. So then we cut to a close-up. Hero close up. All right, now let's watch it. So here, ooh, ah, uh, uh, dun dun. It's the exact same A punches B. This one feels more like a comedy. Boom. This one, a little bit more like a drama. Moving camera. A lot of dynamic cuts that tell us the story of a punch. And to me, that's what storyboarding is. You try stuff and then until you find what feels right. And you see how quickly I drew these? You can throw out a lot of ideas very fast. And the more ideas you put up, the smarter you get about your, your, your product. And that's the whole point of storyboarding. It's not about finished drawings. It's about getting smart about what you're trying to do with your story and how that audience is going to receive it. So is it a comedy? Boom. Boom. Or is it a drama? The music in your head will tell you which way to go. Alright guys, I hope this helps. Cheers. Alright everyone, so if you like the video, you want to learn more, you want to improve as an artist, highly recommend clicking over to Schoolism, signing up for the newsletter because in this newsletter, you will always get free videos and tutorials and news about Schoolism so you can keep up to date with what's going on in the world. Click over now and I'll see you guys next time.